Hey, it's Nicholas it's back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. Right, tonight we're going to have a distro for you, for a change, as you know. Something you don't normally see online very much. This is eLive, or eLive, 2.9.8 beta, right? It's been in beta for, God, years and years and years. It's still in the beta, but it's a one-man band, so he's doing it all on his own. And there's a little bit of a drawback to that, and I'll tell you in a moment when we get through some stuff. I'm just going to quickly show you around it and one of the disadvantages I found with it. I would say no, it's not really a disadvantage, but it's a bit of a pain if you want to try a distro and do a full installation and stuff like that. But hey, we'll go for it anyway. So it's using E17 or Enlightenment, so it could be E17 stroke 18. Remember, you can download your own stuff. It's easy peasy. Based on Debian now. I'm not sure what it used to be based on before. I think it was Sankos, but I can't remember exactly. Okay. You've got a nice little taskbar down the bottom. Can you see? And you get terminology. That's your terminal. Okay. XChat, you also get your Thunar File Manager, Chromium as a web browser, and also Ice Weasel, which is a Firefox rebrand, but it probably won't be up to date at the moment because you need to update everything. Ice Stuff is your mail client, Audacious, Rhythmbox. Now, it's got a picture of an iPod there, right? If you can get your iPod to work properly with it, give me a call, okay? Because I doubt if it would. VLC Media Player, Shotwell for your photos, Gimpage, of course, and you've also got Raw Therapy, yeah, we're all therapy, but we'll go through it in a minute. Inkscape, a full Inkscape, not light. Blender, Skype, I'm not sure if that's the brand new version. We'll have to wait and see in a second. Gvim. Let's open Gvim. Let's see what happens. Okay. Hi, Gvim. Oh, yeah, it's just basically Gvim with a bit of stuff, isn't it? Okay. You can go. Okay. You also get VirtualBox. This is as standard, but it is quite a large download. I think it's nearly three gigs, but you can get rid of a lot of it before you install it. This is in the installer, as you can see. It's flashing and doing stuff because it wants you to install it. I'll come back to that in a moment and we get a demo of terminology. So I'll click on that for you and it gives you a demo. I'll bring it down. It probably won't be too bright, but here we go. Type help to know the ton of eLife features available. So I'm going to type in help. Control shift, control shift V, paste and copy text, the usual stuff, blah, 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 blah. One thing about terminology I will tell you now is you can actually do a lot more than any, a lot of other uh, text editors. Sorry, terminal, terminal, okay. A lot more. So let's start going through it. Xchat, you know what that is. Thunar, you know what that is. Chromium, we'll open it up and have a look. That was quite quick, wasn't it? Okay, well, okay. it's the blue one, but a big one, isn't it? Yeah, I thought so. And oh, now I forgot to get rid of it. Ooh, so you need to re enable Adblock or just remove it from Chromium. Mm, right, okay. I'll just click up there, new tab, no, I don't want a new tab, do I? I want to get rid of it, so go away. Ice Weasel, how's that? This won't be the current version again, as I said before. I tried it last night, trying to use it on YouTube, and it didn't want to play ball with me, basically, at the end of the day. No, not at all. But if I go to here, let's see if it'll play tonight. You never know, do you? It just might work, you never know. YouTube.com, looks all right. I'll leave the language as it is for now. And we'll just go to one of my videos just to make sure it works. Hopefully I've spilt that right. Yeah, of course. Uh, that one goes. Let's put that in. Will it play? We'll get an advert, so we'll make that smaller. Yeah, that's better. Make you smaller. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Advert, advert, advert. Keep going. No, I don't want to look at you. Go away. Okay, the video plays. It's not too bad. Not brilliant. Okay. But remember, we've got no 3D acceleration here because for a simple reason, I went to run from the live CD, and I'll come to that in a moment. Okay, that's why. Oh, do I do this? it? Does this even while you're using it on the live CD? It keeps popping up boxes for you to keep clicking and do stuff. So I'll keep this one on just for here. Okay, you can install eLive to your hard disk. Continue trying eLive in live mode. I want to make a donation or restart the desktop configurations. I'm just going to cancel that because I don't want to do any of them, do I really? I stuff as your mail client, I won't start it up. Audacious. It seems pretty fast. It was, wasn't it? It was pretty fast. Rhythm box, I'll click open it. It's reasonable. Yeah, I can live with that. Yeah, okay. VLC media player, I won't open it up. Shot well, you know what it looks like. We'll open up Gimpy just to make sure. Ooh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Well that boots up reasonably well, doesn't it, really? Oh, yeah, not bad at all. Right, raw therapy. I've heard this before, have you? Yeah. It's basically to do your raw stuff from your cameras. What's the green one mean? That's the one I want you. There you go. 
and you can import your raw photos from your camera and do stuff, okay? And it is really, really good, and it's free. You can get it from any system, by the way. You don't think it's just for this one. Okay. Inkscape, the standard one. You know what it looks like. Don't you? Oh, oh, that took a little while to open up, didn't it? Go to blue. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah. Okay. Would have liked it a bit faster. So basically, we're running total RAM here at the end of the day, even though it's based on Debian. But Blender will be a bit of a test, right? Let's have a look. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ooh. That was really quick. So it's obviously optimizing some of my cores here, but only on certain programs. It's Blender 278, so that's not too bad. Yeah, okay. We can live with that. Skype, I'm not going to open up because you know what it looks like. Vim, I've opened up already. VirtualBox is in, is in the system. And the installer. Now, here lies one of the problems. <clears throat> you can start the installer and go halfway through with it, and it seems to run rather fine. But instead of just doing a donation now, you have to pay some monies to get a key to actually install it to your hard drive. I found out to run it on, how to run it on persistence, which is okay, but I really wanted to install it on, to a hard drive to say it run on a real machine, and I couldn't do that. So, Mr. Developer, think about that before you do that. I mean, you may have a better idea of saying... Yes, you can install it to your hard drive for 14 days and it won't work anymore. That might be a better idea. Unless you donate however much you want. I'm not even sure how much it is. It might be 10 euros, it might be 20, it might be 5, I don't know. I imagine about 10 to 20. Who knows? Okay, being in Enlightenment E17, there is no right-clicking. It's all left-click. Okay. So under all the applications here, you get a lot more here, as you can see, under accessories. There's even emulators here. Okay, so also it's only virtual box in there. I thought it was saying girls. Yeah, demo of VFL, okay, an alarm clock, a disk utility for doing stuff, file synchronization, etc., etc. Under internet, you get Samba browser, okay, so if you're going to run Samba, it's all there for you. You still get NetSurf. Hmm, does that still actually work? I'm not really sure about that. Okay, to sound, I'm not going to make the video too long because there's no need for it because I can't install it, alright? If it was installed, I'd give it a longer, longer video. Audacious, have we seen? Audacity is here. Mix is here. Sound user, wrong choice personally for me, but if that's the way he wants to roll, that's him. He's the guy on his own doing it on his own. But he has put Spotify client in for you. Turn it into Spotify. So if you want to run with persistence or on a USB stick, it'd be okay for you. And the video. Quite a bit. Avid Emacs. Right. Well, it can be used, but not if you want to do high quality videos. And the screen keeps changing like that, as you can see. Brazero, another disc burner. Cheese is here. DVD. I've had problems with that recently when trying to use it, so I don't bother anymore. Okay. Music Brains. Rage Video Player. I've recalled my desktop. He should have gone with something else there. Personally, that's my personal opinion. But he wants this to run on older machines, basically. So if you've got an old machine you want to do recording your desktop, that's probably the best app for it. Okay. Office. What have we got? Okay. Full LibreOffice Suite. Shall we open it up and see what happens? Okay. Let's go to... Ooh, Calc. That's reasonably fine, doesn't it? That's okay. Yeah, I'll go with that. Be alright. And it does run with really sm small amount of RAM, so, you know, it'll be alright. Applications again. Like games. There's quite a few games. And imagine being Debian-based, you can install Steam. So that's no big deal, is it? Visual by Advance. I remember that one. Blimey. Oh, programming, you get quite a bit there for programming, but not too much really, is it, really? Should that really come under programming after that? Maybe my maps and that, yeah, but... Uh, under other, some duplicated ones here, okay. Passwords and keys, preferred applications, TED, video one at, okay. Khan Academy, ain't got a clue. Administration, analog <laughs> modem, basically. Configure your audio cards, G-parted, print settings, synaptic packet manager, and user managers. But the big problem I have with this is I can't install it. I, I really would like to give it a go through, install nice, decent drivers, and it will probably fly even a, a dual-core machine, I suppose. It will really fly. But unfortunately, I can't do that. So, Mr. Developer, if you want to change that to what I said earlier, it might be a bit of an idea, really. But on the whole, I've used it for a few hours. I used it yesterday as well for a few hours. It's reasonably nice to use. What more can I say? I'm not going to give it a rating because I can't install it. Yeah, I can't install it. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.